this may appear to be only monkey business, but in reality it's very serious, ladies. A demon with a glint in his eye and a little black gadget is a candid camera addict. Public menace number one. Then, for all the peeping toms of all the generations pale into insignificance with modern super peeper. While the scene you now see being sought to see the no longer safe ladies, her homes. For this fiend is liable to be anywhere, hiding in the folds of your shower curtain. And let me warn you, don't cling to the idea that a closed door will stop this snapshot sniper. It won't. But where there's a door is generally a, and keyholes simply bring out the peep in him. The victims of this uh, focus fiend invariably end up in the soup. Sometimes the soup is only the photographer's developer. On other occasions, it's front page notoriety. This all depends, of course, on who she is, what she did, and uh, where she did it. He's no respecter of persons, this photophobia addict. And to illustrate my point, we'll just tag along as this super snooper pays a visit to the boudoir of a famous Hollywood personality, Elaine Barry Barrymore. As we edge up to the keyhole, we find Miss Barry just returning from a Hollywood party. It's 6.30 a.m. Of course, Miss Barry is totally unaware of our presence and therefore is completely at ease doing the things she does naturally, without ostentation. In the old days, the boudoir was considered a sanctuary where a lady could retire, if she wished to, in privacy. But in this age of snooping reporters and candid cameramen, nothing is sacred. In the flat below, there lives another Hollywood celebrity, Miss Trixie Braganza. And she too is returning from a party. So let's settle here and now the question of how and how not to one of your husband. Down through the ages, women have paid meticulous attention to the matter of dressing. They have consumed hours and hours in getting just the precise effect desired. Each dainty garment has been donned with the utmost care and thought. No amount of time or effort has been considered wasted if the final result was alluring glamour. But ladies, when it came to undressing, that was something else again. Technique was thrown to the winds, angles were disregarded, charm and allure were entirely forgotten. Now, Miss Barry is unquestionably an authority on undressing, and I suggest that you watch her closely. Notice the ease and grace with which she slips out of things. No lost motion, no awkwardness, from all appearances, you'd think she'd spent her life undressing. That truly is artistry. Ah, there should be some developments here. No, I'm afraid the developing has gone the limit. However, Trixie's been around, and when it comes to undressing, she should be able to show us a thing or two. Oh, now, Trixie, please, don't forget your bedroom manners. Back in the Barry boudoir. Now I'm sure we'll see something. For Miss Barry has excellent bedroom habits. And she unquestionably has it. Oh, she must have it. Or didn't she capture the world's greatest lover? She not only knows how to get a husband, but how to keep him. A what? Well, that's what it says in the script. Ah, now we're getting right down to business. Wasn't that executed beautifully? Doesn't that prove beyond all doubt that it isn't what you obviously reveal, but what you artfully conceal that makes disrobing and intriguing art? Have you noticed the poise of the body, the rhythm of each graceful movement? To the appreciative, there is in a scene like this something truly uplifting. <sighs> yes, indeed. 
Style, charm, and distinction come from neither beauty nor money nor a combination of the two. They are the simple result of aesthetic sense, cultivated taste, and a persistence in maintaining the lovely little tricks that every girl practices on her first sweetheart. Miss Barry has a subtle artistic ability to inject suspense into her disrobing. A most commendable habit, ladies, and, that, and one that should be universally adopted. Now, she's about to slip out of her slip. No. No, it's not a slip. It's, uh, it's her... Uh, her... Uh, well, let's skip it. To convey to you precisely what I mean by aesthetic sense, let's follow the candid camera to Trixie's once more, where that other celebrated taker-offer may be able to show us a few other wrinkles. Trixie, after all. You know, we're holding you up as a colossal example of boudoir finesse. <coughs> and millions of women all over the world are eagerly waiting to see just how you do it. Come, come, Trixie. Let's get down to the foundation. It's easy to see how this gal puts up such an imposing front, Trixie. These ladies are all here to learn how to undress. They're not interested in how to take down an awning. Oh. They want to see your technique. Oh. Ah. Isn't that awful? Oh. <sighs> the SS Normandy is in. Really, ladies, I'm terribly sorry. This sequence has turned out to be a perfect bust. Well, uh, anyway, a, a bust. And that man's here again. Now, for a little light on a real subject. Let me see. What what what, what you going to do now? Rest? No, I believe there's something coming off here. Oh, yes, of course. The stockings. She has uh, lovely eyes, don't you think? Well, to tell you the truth, I hadn't noticed them myself. You see, ladies, Miss Barry always rolls her stockings down from the top, never from the bottom up. That's a very good point to remember. There is a delightful nonchalance about this little lady, a studied indifference that is certainly effective. Invariably, she keeps you guessing as to what she'll do next, a trick which never fails to intrigue the average husband. When Elaine rolls them, they stay rolled. I mean the stockings, of course. Trixie even gets into her own hair. Life is just a bowl of cherries to Trixie, but she's the pits. And take a look at the hooses she's got on her head. Those things went out with blind pigs. Well, they'd have to be blind to take Trixie out. How her husband must thrill to such exotic charms. No wonder he has business at the office. I'm afraid I'd have business in South Africa. <laughs> this little pig went to market. This one stayed home. You're a big girl now. Oh, look at that. Is that grace or disgrace? <sighs> You're just wasting your time, Trixie. <laughs> oh, shoot. It'll take a broad axe to whittle that down. What a battle. Oh, really, Trixie, is that... Oh. You'll blow a gasket someday. Well... As it's turned out, you're probably gazing upon the greatest exponent of what not to do in a bedroom. Oh. 
to keep a husband, she'll have to keep him. Ah, but this is something else again. A soft, balmy night, dreamy music, and a touch, just the merest touch of, of some subtle perfume. <sighs> Mrs. Johnson, that'll get him. You know, the average woman will use every bit of feminine trickery at her command to sell herself to the man she loves until she lands him. And after that, she just sends him monthly invoices. And I think this worry is about over, though. In a few moments, Trixie will fold up like a dump truck and call it a day. Yes, I was right. The dreadnought is about to drop anchor. Oh, yes? Through the all-seeing eye of the candid camera, you have witnessed the correct and the incorrect method of retiring. In the instance of Miss Barry, you have seen how it is quite possible to disrobe quietly, gracefully, without effort. There's no need to get out of your clothes as though you were emptying a sack of potatoes. There's no point in leaving your bedroom like a cyclone that struck it. After all, Trixie, we like you, and, and fun is fun, but, but please, don't be primitive. As for you, Trixie, I'm cured. A do not disturb sign will no longer bring out the keyhole peeper in me. You have quashed it completely. <laughs> At last. We sigh with deep regret to think this lesson's done. Such sweet repose. Such lovely power. And hubby's asleep. He's been out for an hour. And ladies, a final word of warning. This candid camera fiend is all about. And he'll expose you if you don't watch out. How many times do I have to call you to dinner? <laughs>